it's a cra- let me uh, understand the world of television. What is yeah. a crazy demand for money? I think I was asking for like 7500 bucks a week or something. Right. At the time, that was a huge amount of money. That's a big amount of money. And Conan went to bat for me, and he got it. Wow. wow. And then once I was faced with the job, I said, I don't want to do it. Wow. <laughs> well, do, do you dislike being someone's boss? Is that the... No, uh, I don't mind that. I think I didn't... He, he, Conan said to me, here's why I think you're not taking it. He said he described the moment that he was writing for The Simpsons, and he had created Mr. Burns, and he had done right. SNL. He said, I could see my whole life ahead of me. Right. I could see I was going to live in Brentwood. I'm going to drive an SUV. I'm going to create five sitcoms. And then I'm going to get honored. And then I'm going to die. And he realized he could see all the way to his grave. Right. And he didn't like knowing his future that well. Right. It was unsettling and boring. So he went and tried talk shows. And now he was in this wild, uncertain future. Right. So yeah. he said, that's where you're at. And he was absolutely right. I didn't want to know how. I could see completely how this is going to go. I was in the Lauren Michaels machine. I would... You know, I would be right. a Broadway video guy. I'd be, a, uh, you know, what would have been a Tina Fey kind of a trajectory. Right. And I thought, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not okay with that. I want to. Wow. And I, I want to do stand-up. I loved stand-up very much. What an incredibly brave move, man. But he 